Hi guys, my name is Parag Pal and welcome back in the new video. In this video, we are gonna learn about how you can estimate the breach in very approximate manner. Okay, because whenever you want to estimate a breach cost, okay, you definitely require estimate sheet and you wonder where we can get the excel sheet so don't worry in this video i'll go i will provide you this excel sheet and this excel sheet will definitely help you to estimate the breach correct before starting this video please visit my web visit my youtube channel okay this is my youtube channel parakpal okay in this youtube channel you will get lots of excels and knowledgeable information which will help you to grow your career right in civil engineering and project management and also don't forget to visit my website civilnotes.com because this website only help you to give a very good insight information about project management and um, civil engineering and it will give a, a lots of things to download right Ex including your uh, college numericals okay so let's understand bridge what is a bridge bridge is a one of the structural element which allow movement of the people movement of the vehicle from one area to another area and that makes help to the people because the bridge is only a structure which makes the arrangement to flow from the non-possible here to the possible area because if you have a river you cannot flow you cannot just jump to the river and go to the next side to cross that river you need this bridge okay okay so this is what we have now bridge is having bridge constructed in two different stages first is like two different stage stage we can say first is the substructure and another is a superstructure substructure means the area below uh, the area construction till footing we can say okay so whatever is construction made till like pile caps piles and footing are considered as a you know substructure and superstructure means the area constructed above the ground level that's called as a construction made over the ground layer that's called the superstructure okay so step one this file you need to add your rate analysis rate over here okay so this is the rate per one metric cube quantity of the pcc m13 m15 grade of concrete for rcc m35 for pile and pile cap i have this rate per metric cube for the reinforcement steel of fe 500d per metric ton i have 72000 so these are the all items that is required for the bridge from PCC to the approach slab. So rate analysis me rate analysis me you understand this is the rate which includes of the material labor, okay, for the one metric cube unit or one metric cube running meter or one metric cube metric cube quantity, metric ton quantity. So for very one one unique quantity of each material we have this rate now if i go beyond this in sub in the substructure so you need to come here as i just told you then in substructure we will be having foundation piles and abutment correct so this is the construction that we have we are considered piers and abutment sorry okay so pier and abutment is not considered in the substructure but it is a part of the substructure because some area and foundation also there right so in foundation we consider we go for the pile foundation so we have this much of the items like to be encounter for the pile uh, foundation construction like pcc rcc for the pile okay pcc for the pile cap reinforcement steel and the formwork for the pile cap so you need to you need to add your number of the items the length we need to add width and the height you need to add here so you will get the quantity right this is the unit you need to mention here and based upon that this rate is coming from your rate analysis sheet so whatever the quantity multiply rate you will get the cost so this is the cost is coming across for the foundations so if i just if i just go here make equals to sum in bracket and i'll just take this okay so it will be act as a around um, 1.5 crore that's required okay for this work of the foundation of pile now if i go to the pile piers and abutment foundation so for pier and abutment we want rcc m20 in piers rcc for abutments 
reinforcement steel and form work now all this data base you know come will come from your drawing you cannot assume this okay this has to be come from your drawings you have you need to add the numbers length width and the height and the quantity will come in a multiplication of that right so you will get the rate over here because rate is parallel to this which we have considered here in the first page and based on that you will get the cost so total cost coming 1.15 crore so if i just consider the both cost you have 2.7 crore required for this construction of the sub, sub like a substructure of the work for a bridge now if i go to the next sheet which is a superstructure in the superstructure we need to construct the girder deck slab and the finishing work so to construct the same you have the psc m15 m15 girder okay p stress concrete p stress concrete in the deck slab reinforcement steel high tensile steel and the foam work you need to add the number length and width to get the proper quantity okay then you have a unit and the cost rate is coming from the first sheet referring to this area so you will get the total cost of construction for the girder and deck slab is how much 3.2 crore now similarly in finishing work like you provide a weaving coat and uh, like here you can see this is a deck slab you constructed now to at the top you need to provide a weaving coat and all so bituminous concrete you are you are applying so one quantity total length you apply here width and the height so you will get the quantity you will, you have a rate so this is your total cost for the bituminous work and the railing that you have provided just take an example the parapet is instead of parapet we are providing railing right so you will get a total 3.7 crore for this work now if i go to the miscellaneous one so you have the another database such as bearing and joints so whenever you do the construction you can see this is the one in this in this connection we usually provide the bearings and there are some joints we have so what kind of bearings we provide elastomeric bearings okay strip seal expansion joints we provide so we need to inform that we need to address the length width and height so we can get the quantity based upon the rate multiplication the quantity we will get the amount over here similarly other items such as drainage output like whenever there is a construction you made you need to give some drainage output okay so water cannot be stuck there approach to the slab you have to give the approach it means the slab approach so the vehicle can enter into the bridge okay that you need to assign so you need to give data for that and based upon the rate you will get the cost here so total cost coming approximately uh, 25 lakhs correct now this is very small uh, structure that i have considered this is not exist existing work the cost is more higher based upon your uh, length of the bridge okay like if your bridge is more than 60 meter usually is considered as a major bridge uh, 60 or 40 i am not sure i need to check into that one but yes this is a consideration and less than that less than 60 meter consider as a uh, consider uh, it as a lower bridge uh, like the small bridge so major bridge and minor bridge is defined based upon the length of the bridge now if i go to the cost summary so you see we have here that we have the part a as a substructure cost part b as a 